CV passing in HRS Pro V10. Click on the candidate tab, create new candidate, choose permanent. Now I've got a list of CVs here, so I'll just pick a CV that we've uh, we've got. I'll choose this uh, Suzanne person. Database will uh, run through the parser now and extract as much information as it can find from the CV. And as you can see in the background, there's a bit of information that it's extracted there. And it's left us with this window here um, to allow us to populate the skills from our own list of skills. If I uncheck these options, it will now pass automatically without using our own categories. Click continue and it will pop you into the CV parsing window where it shows you all the information it's extracted from phone numbers to names and in the highlighted skills section you'll see that it's also found a list of skills, um, hopefully there we go, um, that it's tagged against this particular candidate. So go back to a parsing window. You can also um, click in the CV and highlight bits of text from this particular candidate that may not have been picked up um, and you can tag it into any part of the database that it might relate by just clicking on the fields. So that's a parsing. If we come back into the database, you'll now see we've got the text from the CV that's been extracted. We've got the original CV here, which we can label as the original CV, and we can launch it at any point by just clicking on the magnifying glass. In the details tab, you'll see that we've picked up some phone numbers, um, the address, um, a little bit of information from this particular candidate um, that has been automatically extracted and placed into, into the candidate's record. In the skills tab, we also have a list of skills that have automatically been populated and some notes about the skills which have also been automatically populated. And in the employment history, it's found that last job that this particular candidate was working for. <clears throat> so instantly, we've passed this CV and we've got a record that is automatically searchable and ready to go. There's another way you can pass a CV. If I go to the administration section, we can set up an email rule. So let's go to the email settings and we've got a list of rules here. Well, not really, but uh, I'm going to create a new one that applies to admin. The rule name will be CV Passing. Now what this does, or what this can do, as you'll notice here, is we can set up a list of criteria. So if the email comes from, and the criteria contains, let's say jobs at hrspro.com, what we want it to do is automatically create a contact from that particular email. Is the sender a candidate? We'll say yes, there'll be candidates because they're responding to jobs. We can mark particular information so we can use an auto reply to that particular email. We can also mark oops, that particular contacts record um, 